So let's see this video in which we will be finding the approximate value. Remember, we will be finding the approximate value of the square root of imperfect squares. Now, this is really important. We, we all know so many methods of finding the square root of perfect square numbers. But this is a video in which you will be learning how to find imperfect square square roots and that too very very close the answer will be very close to the actual value i think it will be accurate up to one decimal place so you want to learn that watch the entire video and i'll be taking up uh, three or four examples so that you can practice them when we have learned the trick so let's see the first example here we have square root of 521 and i want to find the approximate answer that means the answer up to one or two decimal places See, 521, if you observe carefully, this number is between 22 square, which is 484, and 23 square, which is 529. So, this is greater than 22 square and less than 23 square. So, my answer for this is going to be between 22 and 23. Now, this is something you need to uh, be very quick in judging so 22 and 23 so my answer is 22 point something that is done now so what is the answer after decimal that's where the problem is and i want to find the approximate value there so what will i do this number uh, you know it my square root starts with this 22 right so i will assume a as 22 and b as the number in the square root that is 500 and 21 so once you know the, all these things are mental maths uh, things so you don't have to write them i am writing them just to tell you the steps so that you have them for your ready reference so a is 22 and b is 521 the number after decimal you know can be found out very easily if you can find out this factor half of a plus b upon a so let's try and find out whether square root of 521 will be obtained by finding half of a, a in this case is 22 and b is 521. So 22 plus 521 upon 22. So what we need to do here is to divide 521 by 22. Now that is the calculation which will be an extra calculation in this. Apart from that, there is no other calculation which will come in this particular trick of finding the square roots of imperfect square numbers. So I have done it already for you. This is 23.68 approximately. And if you add the numbers in the bracket, this will be half of 45.68. And half of 45.68, this will be 22 point and then 16 means uh, 8 and 8 means 4. 22.84. Now, if you pick up the calculators and check the actual answer, the actual answer, that means the answer rounded off up to two decimal places will be 22.83, not 84. But it solves our purpose in uh, like 98% of the cases, right? Nobody is going to deduct marks if you write 22.84 in place of 22.83, at least up to school level. So I think provides a very good method through which you can find the square root of imperfect square numbers. You just have to divide this one particular division is important. Apart from that, I think everything is mental maths calculations, right friends? So friends, we'll be taking up like some big numbers also uh, in the same video here but i want you to know that all these tricks which i am telling you are a part of our super combo of quant and reasoning which currently we are giving at a very exclusive nominal costing offer so this is the best time to grab a copy you can send me a message on whatsapp 9896369963 but uh, be willing to invest a little bit on your education e-book of short tricks and the reasoning course look at this it contains 24 different chapters and this contains 18 important chapters both come with video support directory so that if you don't understand something you can just play the video and watch and uh, clear your concepts all the concepts are there illustrations practice questions previous year questions 
you know lots and lots of things it helps you develop 10 times faster speed of calculations so if you are studying at school level or at college level or preparing for any kind of competitive exam then this super combo of content reasoning is going to prove very very beneficial for all of you 9896369963 that's my whatsapp number do send me a message if you want to grab a copy let's take some other examples now here we have two more examples square root of 278 so let's quickly do this now 278 16 square is 256 right so 278 it lies between 16 square and 17 square so if i find half of a plus b upon a a is this number 16 so 16 plus b is the number in the square root 278 and i have to divide that by 16 now this will be my answer see i'm reducing the number of steps now so this will be half of 16 plus now i have to perform this calculation 278 divided by 16 so i've already done it for you this is 17.375 and half of this is 33.375 that gives you the answer as 16.6875 right and now if you pick up the calculators and check the actual value the actual value of this square root is actually 16.67 now look at the variation we have 0 0.01 variation in the actual answer and in this answer which we have obtained through this short trick half of a plus b upon a see as you practice through this method you will find that the time you are consuming for solving these type of questions is getting lesser and lesser and very helpful for finding uh, the approximate square root uh, when you are at school level they only look for approximate square roots right and multiple choice questions it's a boon for cracking multiple choice questions let's see 886 now so as you know 229 square 29 square is 841 and 886 lies between 29 and 30 right 29 square and 30 square so my answer is going to be 29 point something so what will i do my answer will be half of a a is this number 29 plus b b is 886 and i'll have to divide that by 20 9 so this will be half of 29 plus so i've already divided this uh, for you 886 divided by 29 th that is 30.55 30.55 so this comes out to be half of 59.55 and the answer comes out to be if you divide 59.55 by 2 29.775 now this is the approximate value of the square root of this number 886 and if you pick up the calculators again and check the actual value this is 29.766 so all the answers which i am getting has a variation of just 0 0.01 right which is 99 percent accurate answer 